Hi, I'm Dave Barney. I'm the product manager for TV Attribution, and I'm with David Murphy today, our global TV Attribution product expert. Today we're going to walk you through the website and search performance reports. This is really the meat of the product. This is probably where you'll spend most of your time when using this product. So David, why don't you uh, walk us through the website performance report? Yeah, sure thing Dave. Let's do this. Yeah, so this is where you're going to spend a lot of time like drilling in, asking and answering a lot of pertinent questions to your TV campaign performance. And um, so here right now we're looking at the website performance, the attributed uplift of visits to your site. And again, we can see the high level metrics, but now broken out with day by day. So you can look at daily trends of impressions, cost, attributed visits, and some performance related metrics revolving around audience engagement, but also cost effectiveness. And just below it is a dual axis bar chart where you can actually define the metrics you care about and see the daily trends again. This chart could be really useful if you select that attributed visits for million impressions. This could be really useful in identifying macro trends. So what we're looking at now in the light blue is the TV impressions over time and then the green line is the, is the response rate essentially. And this will help you identify if your TV campaign is declining in performance over time or maybe there's a spot of peak or low performance. And, and that'll help you identify those periods of, of interest. Great. And just below it is a tabular view, um, if you prefer it that way, broken out by the dimensions you care about. Right now it's on network. You could change that. But you can also add an extra dimension to chop things up by. And here we're going to break things out by day part. Yeah, network day part is typically how TV's bought, and so being able to drill into performance by network day part can be most helpful in optimizing your TV buy. Cool, and the metrics you see here are again broken out number of spots per network and day part, number of impressions ran, the cost associated to each line, the total number of attributed visits, so you can see which ones drive more engagement than others, and equally, um, again, two performance metrics revolving around audience engagement and cost effectiveness. You can also sort these depending on what you care about. So here I'm going to sort by the largest spots here. But also when you're happy with that report, you can then download it as a CSV file. Yeah, that CSV you can then import to any of your other systems, um, Excel for any custom reporting if it's not available here in the report. Great, and before we move on, we're just going to focus on one last feature here, which is the filter. So Let's say you want to just look at your broadcast networks, for example. So let's look at a report where we're going to filter on network for NBC, CBS, ABC, and Fox, just to pull all of our broadcast networks into a single report. This will be helpful in identifying how broadcast is performing versus cable or the rest of your buy, for example. So once we've gone in here, we can put the filter. We've filtered in these four networks. Then when we save this, the report updates and now the chart, the metrics, and everything in the table is just applied to these four networks. So now you see the summary of your broadcast networks, the chart of your broadcast networks on the table. Great. And um, once you're happy with that view, rather than putting all those filters in again, you can actually use the save functionality and just give it a quick name, like broadcast networks, save it, and then it should be available here under mm -hmm custom reports for you to click on and use in the future. And um, so that's just looking at the website um, uplift here. We're going to look at the search performance very quickly, but it's got all the same features and functionalities, just with a few minor differences. So here we'll be able to use search related metrics, and again, search share, search strength index and cost efficiency, um, which is great. And again, the tabular view has all the similar ones to the attribute of visits, except on the right-hand side, again, we're looking at the search performance metrics. So these reports, you may have noticed, the, the search and website performance reports are nearly identical. And you may be asking yourself, why both or when would I use one or the other? And a lot of that depends on what your business goals are. If you're selling your product through your website, you're probably going to be trying to optimize your TV through website performance. But if, however, you sell cars, for example, or something where the website may be interesting to look at, but isn't necessarily representative of the customer journey. In those cases, often branded search is a better proxy for TV effectiveness, in which case you'll probably use the search performance report. But in either case, both of them can be interesting to see how which networks or creatives are performing better. Thank you for watching our overview of the website and search performance reports today. For more information, click on the link in the description below. Thank you.